What's up guys, I'm here today to see, uh, explain something that has been going around, I've, I've heard a lot, it's been going on in the Madden community for a while. Uh, this is not my footage, so this is uh, someone I grabbed off the internet, uh, both videos from uh, Madden and uh, Star Wars Battlefront. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you that uh, what EA doesn't care about really anyone uh, all they care about is who is going to pay uh, to win. Uh, that's what their model is now. It's all about pay to win. Whether it's uh, MUT, NBA, Live, uh, whatever other games they put out. And the most recent one is the Battlefront game. And the big thing with the uh, Battlefront game is it is highly, highly uh, pay to win. Just like MUT in Madden is. Uh, and I know that EA is under investigation uh, about gambling because it is gambling uh, if it's pay to win, um, especially when you pay uh, sixty something dollars or more for the deluxe editions um, with with these type of things. Where you know, if you look at EA packs, you know you, you have a possibility. That's that's what they say a possibility of pulling a ninety nine overall player and. It's not guaranteed, so it's just like gambling, whether it's in the Star Wars games um, or the uh, the games like Battlefront that just came out. Um, they've set stuff so ridiculously high that you pretty much can't obtain uh, most of the stuff unless you pay to pl uh, pay. Just like, for example, um, when certain promos come out for Madden, you have to pay money to open up... Uh, open up uh, packs to hopefully pull a guy in more than likely you're not so you have to sell everyone and uh, and hopefully you can buy that player but by that time you spent hundreds of dollars I believe that no game should be pay to win uh, I've seen someone recently talk about um, how overwatch does it where all the loot crates and all the other stuff are cosmetic and, and it has nothing to do with gameplay uh, if you look at mutt it's all about the gameplay. Um, you get the new players. You know it affects gameplay. Uh, in the Star Wars games, you get—I don't know how it works, but you can't get like Darth Vader. Uh, but you know, until you get like 40 hours playing, and and it, if you buy like the Star Wars games, you want to play as Darth Vader. Everyone wants to play as Darth Vader. Uh, same thing in Madden. If if a new car comes out, Randy Moss, everyone wants to play with Randy Moss, Michael Vick. But not everyone's going to have a chance to play with Randy Moss and Michael Vick and all the good players because they want you to pull out your wallet and spend all this money on the game. And trust me when I say this, EA is all about pay to win now. Like That's what all of their games are about. They don't care about regular mode. They don't care about anything uh, unless you're spending with these microtransactions, whether it be packs or however you know Battlefront does it and however NBA Live does it it's all about uh, how much money they can get from you and the only reason I believe that you should ever be able to have to pay uh, for stuff in the game if, if you're willing to pay for it you need to be making that money back like on YouTube videos I know like people who have high YouTube videos um, they might spend $150 on packs but then they make $200, $300 off of that video on YouTube. Uh, and that's good and everything because they're making a profit with uh, with their business. Uh, but not everyone can do that. And, and it makes it so bad that no one would you know, want to play. You want to play Battlefront, uh, for instance. And you want to play as Darth Vader as soon as you get in. Because I know that's what I would want to do. But you can't. You have to grind and grind and grind for, for hours on end. You've seen that it takes... Uh, thousands of hours to unlock everything in the game. That's the same thing with Mutt. They put out all these solo challenges uh, and everything. You know, it's just a grind fest where you can never play online because what they want you to do is once again pull out your credit card, say take my money, uh, and and get as much as they can out of you. And one thing that's driven me nuts over the past uh, two Maddens or these chemistries that they add they're taking stuff away from the game that's the big thing they're taking things away from the game so you have to pay to get a guy with playmaker to get a guy with conductor you know they're they're making you pay to get these good guys 
that have abilities that should have been in the game in the first place. So, like, if you really just want to play the game with head to head, you can never be able to utilize any of this stuff. So, I mean, in my opinion, they're they're kind of ruining it. They're all about the money. That's what it is. That's their business model now. And I just wanted to let you know uh, the news that I've been hearing about this issue and how a lot of uh, people are upset with this type of business model and it's not going to last much longer um, if if they keep getting bad press like this because something's going to have to change but hopefully we do get something to change but we'll have to find out uh, and see but hopefully EA changes it to where they can put everything in the game uh, but that's more than likely not going to happen because their model is pay to win.